We're here doing some diagnostics on a 2002 Dodge Durango. We're gonna be working on the fuel injection system. We've already done some diagnostics on this truck, but we're just doing a recap here. So th this truck just got a rebuilt engine. It's the 4.7 liter Dodge. It wasn't running right, straight from the machine shop. Towed it back to the house. Upon cranking the engine over, we determined that it was hydro locking. Hydro lock means you're getting a liquid in the cylinders. So if your engine runs while it's hydro locked, you can bend a rod or you bend a valve or break something. So we don't think it damaged anything. Uh, we don't think it hydro locked while it was running. It hydro locked while we were cranking it over. It just stopped, would not crank over anymore. So then we pulled the spark plugs, cranked the engine. We found out number eight back here was pissing fuel like a geyser. I mean, it was, it shot me in the eye originally. Um, so we know we have a fuel problem. One thing we're gonna do while the spark plugs are out is we're gonna run a quick compression test because that can be done in a matter of seconds. This type of diagnosis will apply to any fuel injected vehicle with a uh, port fuel injection. This eight cylinder it has eight fuel injectors. First thing we did was take a noid light. We plugged a noid light into the wiring harness it got a good flicker on and off. We know we have a good signal from the computer, okay? But we have all this fuel pumping out of the cylinder, so it's getting fuel from somewhere. So the next thing we did was pulled the fuel rails up and out of the cylinder head. And let me show you the injector real quick. You can see the injectors. It turned out the number eight fuel injector right here on the bottom, it was, it was pissing like a hose, nonstop. So that determined that we have a bad fuel injector on that cylinder and it was filling up the cylinder with fuel and causing a hydro lock situation. So we're gonna check all the rest of the fuel injectors. You don't have to send them out to get this done. You can do it yourself. Um, I've seen these fuel injectors where they're just dripping a little bit. So in between getting fired off by the computer, you maybe get a drip every couple times a second or something like that. And an engine like that might run okay, but you're gonna waste fuel and you'll have a drivability problem because that's gonna throw off your O2 sensor. Okay, we're gonna ohm test the injectors. Let's see. Cylinder number six. Look Wait. at the get the meter in there. 13 and a half. This injector reads 13.7. Okay, next injector. Thirteen point eight seven. The third injector back on this side fell out, so you can see better right here. This injector is high. We have nineteen, about nineteen ohms. What that tells us is this particular injector is gonna flow a different rate of fuel than all the rest of the fuel injectors. When it comes to Ohm's law, you have amps times ohms equals volts. And with the high ohms on this injector, it's gonna affect your on time. Uh, typically a computer has 15 to 85% on time. It's either gonna run rich or lean, I'd have to think about it which way it's gonna go. But this cylinder was running rich or lean, which may have caused the engine to fail to begin with. And this is the root cause of the problem if you have a lean condition, that one cylinder can get hot and cause you to blow a head gasket. I've seen it happen before. It'll also cause drivability problems. We already checked all the other injectors. They're within one tenth to two tenths of an ohm, so they're all pretty good. But the minimum you'd have to do on this is replace that injector because the ohms are wrong, the other injector because it's piss and fuel. We actually have a full set of different injectors off of Dodge Dakota that all ohm out within a tenth of an ohm of each other and these are high mileage 290,000 injectors so one of them is also cracked plus the bad the one with the bad ohms the one that's pissing so these are going to go in the can they have 290,000 miles and we're going to put dakota injectors if you like the video give us a thumbs up if you don't like it and this stuff you already know give us a thumbs down whatever you think doesn't matter leave a comment below Maybe get a chat going about the situation and uh, always have a good time doing diagnostics.